So with robotics entering almost every industry you can think of, from healthcare to agriculture, it's important for companies to have a clear vision about how this technology will impact their business in years to come. So take a look at some of these issues. I'm absolutely delighted to be joined here by Professor Ren C. Lowe, Chair and Organiser of the Eros 2019 CEO Summit Forum. Professor, welcome. Yeah, thank you also. Yeah, thank you. So it's a fascinating subject, but give us a little glimpse, if you would, about kind of how the society, how the workplace has been changed by robots. Yeah, if you talk about a robot, you really should make three major categories. One is everybody probably know industrial robot and service robot, and then they do have a specialized robot. Uh, for the moon and also very deep sea uh, explorations and so on. Yeah, so, so if industrial robot per se, uh, they can do the welding, they can do the assembly, they can do the, the stacking. So that's why it uh, will be available to make the car, make it cheaper, affordable. Okay. Now, service robot per se is, uh, is relatively new, I would say. The deal with the people, the service of people. Pick up uh, experience itself is uh, so called uh, elder care. Think about the elder care can be in a public uh, service plus at the hospital, right. at home care, and nursing home, and so on. So, this type of robot work with the caregiver, uh, serve as uh, assistive uh, hands right. to the caregiver. There's uh, three entities now patient, caregiver, and the robot. So the interactive uh, services have become very important. So as you say, we've had uh, robots uh, you know, for quite a while uh, and we're, we're used to that. But what are the changes now that we have artificial intelligence, we have connectivity through 5G, how do, the, the Internet of Things, how does, does all that change the, the role of robots in society? Yeah, the technology you just mentioned. AI, Internet of Things, Big Data, Cloud Computing, and then add on with this 5G communication. 5G means the speed, right, and also the covering the wide area. And so, so this has become very powerful uh, tools as well as the technologies. Now we are using 4G, so 50 times, uh, 20 to 50 times uh, faster. So in the past. The robot is already good enough, and then now they can fly. <laughs> and then they fly everywhere, which means they do the service. In the past, the Amazon, right? Amazon, what kind of company? They sell the books, right? <laughs> you, you order. Yeah. And then they say, OK, four days, uh, they can deliver to you, uh, whatever. And then they become uh, four days, become uh, three days, two days, uh, one day. And then maybe in the morning and the afternoon, you can get it. If we use a human, it's uh, not possible. They will remain four days. But right now, with a robot, intervene. I believe uh, this is why uh, the new technology, I see big changes in the, in the, in the warehousing and the logistics. And uh, this, uh, this is what uh, Amazon yeah, so become, uh, become, become one of the leaders in this uh, particular area. Yeah, so. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to come talk to us. It's, it's absolutely fascinating stuff, so yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. Dave. Yeah.